hundreds of thousands of dollars in unpaid fines and fees. The city of Cincinnati says it plans to sue an out of state company over predatory land sale contracts. And nine on your side's Brianna Harper explains how this alleged neglect is impacting home buyers, neighbors, and entire communities. Is homes like this one left crumbling and abandoned that the city of Cincinnati says is being bought by what they call predatory property investors. But a pending lawsuit hopes to change that. Broken glass, boarded windows, and crumbling concrete, all signs of an abandoned home. And you'll find homes like this scattered in neighborhoods throughout Cincinnati. According to Hamilton County Auditor Records, Harbor Portfolio Advisors, a company based out of Dallas, Texas, owns more than 30 of these types of properties in Cincinnati and has already sold close to double that amount. But in this written complaint, the city claims the company's method is flawed. Our concern is that the property not being taken care of it's going to go into a lot of disrepair to the point where maybe they might just demolish it completely. We wouldn't like to see that. Joy Klein has called Cincinnati home for more than 30 years and lives next door to one of those abandoned homes. Auditor records show Harbor bought this property in 2011 for close to $7,000. More than a year later, they then sold it for more than $40,000. But in the lawsuit, the city states no changes or repairs were made to the property, and that quote puts vulnerable families into homes that they cannot afford to fix up. Even worse, in this case, a child who once lived here also tested positive for lead poisoning. We've had pipes replaced where needed. And I don't know that that's happening in places that are being abandoned. So uh, again, it's the safety of the people in the area. It's the upkeep of the property and the integrity of, of the people around us. The city is suing for hundreds of thousands of dollars in unpaid fines related to civil offenses, building code issues, and failure to barricade. We did reach out to Harper, but no one was immediately available to comment. Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.